Today, I'm gonna to walk you through some of the most recent changes as of early June, 2025, and I'll talk you through why those changes matter. Connectors for deep research is now supporting a ton more tools that are super useful. So to find them, you can go over here into settings and then go down to connectors and you'll see a list of the connectors down here. Box and Dropbox, Google Drive is there, several mail options. And then once you connect them, you've got the enabled connectors up here, uh, and then the options that remain down here. If you wanna turn these off, you just go to manage, and then you can turn them off. So that's very cool, and it gives you a lot of options. Now, connectors is still very much in its infancy, as it really only can pull around 15 data points per search request. So that means if you ask it to go into your inbox of your email, so it'll comb through your email, but it'll only pull 15 data points from your inbox versus referencing the entire inbox. So just keep that in mind. Memory is now more comprehensive for free users. This means both your saved memories and your recent conversations can be referenced if you choose that option. As a reminder, you can make that change in settings over here. And then you're gonna go into personalization. And so this is reference memories here. You can turn that off and on. And then this is your reference chat history here. So it can go back and reference prior conversations that you've had when it's responding, which can be very powerful. The next thing that I love is advances to voice mode. If you tried using a voice mode for conversation in the past, you know that you were constantly getting interrupted by the avatar. A natural flowing conversation was almost impossible. Things have gotten way better. Check this out. I'm gonna intentionally pause mid-sentence here and notice that it won't cut me off. It'll just respond naturally when it sounds about right. Push the button there, starting. So listen, I was thinking about coming up with the combination of F1 racing and maybe brushing your teeth. What are your thoughts? That is such an intriguing combination. I love it. One of the use cases I really love is morning brainstorming. I've created a brainstorming project folder and right when I wake up, I open up ChatGPT on my phone and I start a voice chat. After morning recordings for several days, a week, or even a month, I go back and ask ChatGPT to elicit any interesting common threads between my sessions, as well as top insights across all of my conversations. Check this out, I think you'll be amazed. Hit subscribe if you're into these kind of updates, and I'll see you next time.